Hi, I'm Shannon Gavin Johnson, the director of Legacy Museum on Maine, and this is a brief moment in LaGrange's history. Over the course of nearly two centuries, there have been two schools named LaGrange High School. The first school to use that name was established in 1838, just a decade after the founding of the city. It was a successor to Troop County Academy, which had been established in 1827 on the site of what is now Hillview Cemetery. LaGrange High School's first building was located between Hill and Greenville Streets and the current King and Fair Streets. This iteration of the school was technically a private school, though the building was owned and furnished by the city and operated by a board of trustees appointed by the city as well. The school's principal, who was selected by the board, charged tuition to pay himself and the teachers. In the archives collection, there is a LaGrange High School catalog from the 1868-1869 school year that provides insight into the operations of the school and those involved. The principals that year were Adam Percival Mooty and Leonidas Jones, who also served as the teachers. The board of trustees included nine men, most of whom were notable around town including physician Dr. R.A.T. Ridley, Colonel James Madison Bell, businessman Dr. Hezekiah Wimbish, Dr. Nathaniel Newton Smith, who was also a physician, and builder Benjamin H. Cameron. The school's 120 students included the sons of many prominent local families in the area and from around the state. There were four schooling levels, primary, secondary, commercial, and collegiate, that included differing courses of study and ranged in price from $4 to $6 per month. Subjects taught included writing, reading, handwriting, geography, arithmetic, accounting, surveying, ancient languages, and the natural sciences. After complaints that the building was in dire need of repair, a new school building opened in 1877 located on Greenville Street, east of the fork with Hill Street. This building was used as a school and also housed an armory until 1895. After brothers Robert and Walter Park opened Park High School on Park Avenue in 1895, LaGrange High School closed and the property was sold. After a fire destroyed the school in December of 1897, a new building was constructed at the western end of Broome Street at the corner of what is now Harwell Avenue. The Parks sold their interest in the school in 1899 to Addison Lynch, who used the building for several years as a military school. The name LaGrange High School was resurrected just eight years later when the creation of the LaGrange Public Schools in 1903. The school system acquired the second Park High School building and reopened it as LaGrange High School housing all grades. Over the next few years, the school began to grow increasingly cramped. A new school building was necessary. After the expansion of Greenwood Street north beyond Smith Street, construction began on a new LaGrange High School building on the site that we know today as LaGrange High School. The grand building was built to house just the upper grades, while the old school on Harwell Avenue was transformed into Harwell Avenue School. The new school was built for around $60,000 in 1914. Sadly though, the day after Christmas in 1942, the grand building burned and was reduced to ashes. When school resumed in January, classes were held in the educational building of the First Methodist Church on Broad Street and continued there until the new building was completed in 1946. A new gym was added in 1954, a cafeteria in 1974, the comprehensive wing in 1980, and Building F in 2010. Granger Park, located across the street from the school, opened in 1970 to provide athletic fields for the school and the community. The school was desegregated when East Depot High School was merged into it in 1970. Over the years, it has been named a school of excellence and ranked amongst the best high schools in the state, and its sports teams, the Grangers, have won numerous championships. Go Grangers! To learn more about education in LaGrange, visit Legacy Museum on Main. This has been a brief moment in LaGrange's history.